Hello once again, this is PC Space Coon, and today I am bringing you a match from the round of 16, week 3 of the uh, first season of the APL, or American Pro League. Uh, today it's Priacast versus uh, Elite Gaming. That is that is the other clan that we are going up against, or other team, I suppose. Uh, it's first game of the day is going to be PC Beep Up Cola. Here, spawning as the Teal Zerg in the 3 o'clock position, against TS Exnos, uh, spawning as the Red Zerg over here at the 7 o'clock position. Uh, this is a map that I am totally 100% unfamiliar with. It is Zell Naga Fortress, I believe, which appears to be a 3-player style map, uh, where we have, this is one of the bases here, and then there's the 3 o'clock base here, and then we have the 7 o'clock base down here. So there you go, and there's one Zell Naga Watchtower, which looks really funky, here in the middle, which I'm not exactly sure what the deal is, because it's got like a building timer on it. Oh, it's not, it's like not activated immediately. Interesting. So the Zelnaga Tower, you can't have it right off the bat. It just, it's like, no, you, you, you will not be allowed to see things. Alright, so here comes the drones, looking around for, going down, and uh, Bivacola finds his opponent, sees that nothing's really going down at the moment. And, uh, nothing really happening over at Bivacola's base, either. Just continuing to drone up, and I have ants crawling on me. That might explain why I was, uh, felt, felt something crawling on me earlier, and didn't really come up with anything. It was a very small ant. Alright. So, spawning pool, now going down at the 14 mark, and, uh, Bivacola looks like he dropped it at a 13 pool, and, uh, now the drones are having a small punching fe fight down here. Ow. Yeah, 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 you can't fight minerals. Punch, 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 punch. And, uh, he might actually take a drone out here if Bevo Cole is not careful. Oh, oh, jeet. Oh, jeet. Oh, jeet. Oh, oh, hidden the geyser. <laughs> you can't get me, I'm hiding in a geyser. Oh, oh, jeet. Oh, oh, no, he's, uh, he's in danger of losing a drone. Oh, my gosh, this is gripping. It's a drone with a mineral. Chasing him around, punch. <laughs> he's gonna grab the gas. Yep, there he is. He's gonna hide. That drone's a coward. I mean, this this drone jumped in the jumped into a geyser. This drone turned into a geyser. A uh, little bit of a difference there. All right, but anyways, back to the more exciting things. This drone is going to take out the spawning pool by himself. Wow, he's actually de dealt a pretty decent amount of damage. But there should be zerglings coming out now. Nope, no zerglings yet. Just an overlord. And uh, Bivacola is dropping his queen very quickly. Spine crawler in the mineral field to prevent any zerglings from swarming him, taking him down. Because you can just surround your spine crawler with the drones, and zerglings just kind of run around in circles like, <laughs> kill, kill the spine, or kill spine crawler, hurt, 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 and they never actually really get anywhere unless you hole position them. All right, so roach warring going down for our Exynos here, and uh, then we okay, yeah, spine crawler still going down, and we have the speed going down for Bivacola as well. A couple overlords just kind of chilling, they be hanging. No big, no worries, right? All right, so a couple zerglings now poaching out the four four standard zerglings that you construct in any game that involves zerg. You will build these four zerglings, and uh, interesting. He did get the tower, so apparently you still can see with this tower. What does it like get destroyed after, or is it turn into a nuclear bomb, or what's? What's the deal here? It'll be interesting to see if the game goes on long enough to actually what happens with the Zelnaga Watchtower at when the timer reaches zero. So, 100 more seconds. Ugh. It's gripping. Alright, so we have uh, Metabog Boost almost done. Bunch of Zerglings coming from Biba Cola here. And he's also getting the plus one melee upgrade, which will give his, his, Zergli his Zerglings quite the advantage over his opponent's Zerglings. And he's also trying to expand... Interesting. This is very dangerous to try to get this expansion against another Zerg this early in the game. That's that's quite early, and he does have some. So he does have some roaches. He has some roach, but uh, Bivacola Cole has a lot of Zerglings at this point. So it's not gonna watch tower uh, going down still, and now Bivacola Cole has speed, and he might. Uh, he's no. He doesn't have. Uh, does not have the plus one attack yet, but he is going to be swooping around, it looks like. Overlords pushing out towards the center. Uh, Roach Warren also going down for Ivalcola. Hatchery just about finished. Uh, 
He's now getting Metal Block Boost for his Zerglings as well. But Viva Cola is going to swoop in here with a bunch of Zerglings and attack these Zerglings Roaches. Zerglings actually deal a crap ton of damage against Roaches because Roaches just cannot attack Zerglings fast enough to actually uh, usually win in a straight-up fight. So Zerglings now running away. Okay, so the Zilnaga Watchtower just explodes. Like you do. After that amount of time, just blows straight up. Alright, so these Zerglings now ripping away. And he's now, and he's constructing a bunch of roaches. And the Zerglings are back. Oh, <laughs> roaches. Run away! So they're just gonna flee. And he's gonna drop a queen. And, uh, he's gonna be continuing his larva injects, as a good Zerg should. And, Viva Cola, not expanding yet. Just continuing to mass up those lings. And he almost has level 1 weapons. There it is, level 1 weapons. Bow. A uh, bunch of Lings now swooping around. Lings now swooping into the backfield. Roach is trying to chase him down. More Lings pushing forward, swooping into uh, into the expansion. But they're going to go up the ramp here. Zerglings going to be taken down. Two more Zerglings just going to run into the meat grinder and die. Bunch of Zerglings swooping around the right-hand side. Zerglings do a lot of swooping, apparently. They soar majestically with their wings. Whoosh. Here they come. All right, so they're going to surround that queen. And I don't think they're going to take it down. They might take it down. Are they going to take it down? Yep, queen goes down. All right, and then the Zerglings pull back. Whoa, she! That was a lot of roaches. And uh, looks like Viva Cola now is going to take take his expansion because he feels like he has a uh, slight advantage now as far as uh, speed goes. He has way more map control because roaches are slow as dirt without the upgrade, uh, which he is not going to lair, so he should be able to get the upgrade fairly soon. Uh, and he can swoop around, and pretty much Viva Cola can just swoop around the map wherever he wants and. Uh, Xnox has to slowly, slowly plod his roaches forward. Alright, this is... Overlizer. What's going on, buddy? You getting shot? Don't do that. So, uh, yeah, this queen's gonna take down his overlord, it looks like. And, but he's not gonna supply with his supply box, and this queen's gonna be taken down by these other ones. Shlook. And then he's just gonna run away. <laughs> Bye! I kill your queen! Bye! And he's gonna flee up here to the north. Uh, he's gonna, his base is almost going to be finished here, and he's going to have a queen for it, right off the bat, looks like. Uh, he's not constructing another queen. I don't know where this queen was going, to be honest. Was decided she wanted to go on the attack, apparently. So she's probably just going to come back here to get a larva in inject. And the uh, macro hatch, now going down for Biva Cola. Probably a very good choice. The Roach Warren is down, but it's not really doing anything, which isn't bad. I mean, circling seem to be working just fine. So not much to worry about there. Uh, getting the missile upgrade... There for his roaches. Bunch uh, these lings now swooping towards the middle. They're gonna find the exploded Zelnaga watchtower and be like, oh, no watchtower. What are with these circling legs? They're like, oh, okay, you like sink into this disc, apparently. So they're they're swimming in stone. That's that's what's going on. Alright, we have the uh, roach speed going down, so he can actually attack at any speed at all besides stutter step. Uh, more zerglings being constructed by Viva Cola. Macro hatch is about half done. He has the 1-1, one, one, so he needs to go to lair if he wants anything else. And uh, queen on both. At the moment, continuing to crank out the zerglings. He's continuing to get that mass up, so when these roaches try to do anything, he just punches them in the face. Uh, how are we doing on... Viva Cola does have a lot less in the drone count currently. But it doesn't seem to... Doesn't seem to be hurting him right now. If the game progresses for a long period of time, it will indeed hurt him to have those uh, way less workers. But right now, not that big a deal. Obviously, he's got plenty of money. He's continuing to crank out lings. Lings are really, 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 really cheap. So, and uh, bailing us now going down for Exnos to try to counter the ling menace. Apparently, so he does have some roaches and some lings, and some lings just kind of decided they didn't want to play. He's going to check out the expansion here. Gonna s not going to see anything. Uh, we have uh, both missile and car pace going down now. And we have the Bane Lingus. Here come a bunch of Zerglings swooping into the right-hand side. Uh, they're going to see the Bane Lingus. Like, oh, crap. And they're going to try to surround these roaches as much as possible. Well, uh, Viva Cola's roaches are going to push in as well. And these Zerglings are just going to rip up all the drones, take down the queen, swoop around on these roaches, and these, ro these roaches just cannot deal enough damage to these Zerglings 
at any given point in time to actually uh, stop Viva Cola from just rolling over the top of this, over the top of Exonic forces. So all, all except for one roach is done. There goes that roach. Zerglings now swooping forward. Uh, 26 Zerglings in production, 22 Zerglings in production for Exynos, but I do not believe that's going to be enough Zerglings to actually deal with, uh, Biva Cola's already standing army, plus the Zerglings that are going to be swooping in. Here comes some more Zerglings, but they also do not have the one attack upgrade that, uh, Biva Cola's Zerglings do, nor do they have the, uh, they do have the armor upgrade now, so they are on par armor-wise, but the plus one from the melee actually does quite a bit, and there goes that, and there's the GG from Exynos. Pretty much a pretty solid rollover with Zerglings, so very good. Very well played on Buva Cola's part. Yeah, apparently Buva Cola is staying in this game for a decent amount of time. I'm not exactly sure what's going on right now. Oh, there we go. Not at least. But, uh, pretty decent here, trying to control Exynos' forces. Exynos was not able to really push out at all. Uh, obviously, Buva Cola took the expansion, but he really just w wanted to get the three hatcheries going so he could continue to crank out tons and tons of lings and just roll over the top of Exynos' forces who is trying to tech up and get lots of roaches so uh ZBZ lings are quite quite good so thankfully Biba Cola used them correctly and uh was able to do a decent amount of pushing and he's obviously getting the missile upgrade here as well so one more thing on the list but uh yeah Roach is not so good against a lot of links. That's what we learned here. And they'll not go watch charts explode after 300 seconds. Also good to know. And these Zerglings are just... They're just bored. They don't give, they don't give a crap. They're hippie, hippie Zerglings. Just chilling. Smoking their pot. See? That's the smoke. Alright. So, that's the end of this game. Uh, now, unfortunately, I regret to inform anybody who's watch, who watched this game, and I'll put it in the comments as well, that uh, because of confusion... This was not the first game played, even though it should have been, because uh, the confusion with the other team on picking maps. This was supposed to be Scrap Station, not Zeldonaga Fortress. There were two map pools, and apparently we grabbed the wrong one. So, yay. So anyways, basically what that means is Beaver Cole won this game, worked hard for it, and now we'll have to play another game. So yeah, I'll be casting that one momentarily. Peace.